We've got another GED question of the day, and we are going to be starting here with a little series that involves uh, utilizing the GED formula sheet. Um, and so let's take a look at this problem. Uh, find the area of the shape below. And so you will find that the GED formula sheet has some area formulas um, on it, and so it is very simple. You don't have to memorize area formulas. You can just go ahead and look at the formula sheet. So um, let's pull that sucker up. And here is the GED formula sheet. I just Googled this. This is how I got this. This is the exact one you will have available to you as you take the math test. And it is one of your drop down options. As you take the test, you just click on it and this page will appear. And you can look, the very first thing on this formula sheet here is some area formulas. Um, area of a square, rectangle, parallelogram, triangle, trapezoid, circle. We have some area formulas. Um, now, I have to tell you that's probably the hardest trick to this particular problem. So let's go back and look at our problem here. A lot of students look at this and they go, that's a square. It looks like it's a square. I know it's a square. And so they will make the mistake of writing down the square formula. But be really careful. Everyone should know here that a square has uh, four equal sides. That's the part of the definition of a square. A square is a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape with those wonderful right angles. It has those perfect right angles, 90 degree angles, um, but all four of the sides of a square are the same length. And notice this, it might look like a square to you, but take a look at that. Do you see how that uh, length is different from this uh, length over here? This is not a square, this is a rectangle. Okay, now, um, um, all squares are rectangles. Um, but not all rectangles are squares. So when in doubt, use the rectangle formula. It'll work for both squares and rectangles. So let's go ahead and look back at that formula sheet here. And I see my area of a rectangle formula. So there it is, area of a rectangle. It says A equals LW. That's not a one, that's an L. And so that is what the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to write that down. My area of a rectangle formula, sorry, every time I switch pages, I have to pull my pen back out again. Okay, so my area of a rectangle formula is A is equal to L. W. And this is a very simple little formula to follow. It says to find area. To find area, the A is all by itself. That's what we're finding. Multiply together the length and the width. Uh, when two letters are shoved together in algebra, we're going to multiply them together. So let me just plug in here. I'm going to plug in my length. And you might say, Kate, which one of these is the length? And actually, it doesn't matter. Whichever one you want to call the length, I'll call this one the length. So for length, I'll write 4.3. And then I need to write in my width, 5.7. But be careful. When you write two letters uh, next to each other, that means they're multiplying. But when you write numbers next to each other with nothing in between, I think it's just one number. So it's really important to use some kind of a symbol, and I'll use parentheses, to tell myself to multiply. Okay, great. Now you've done, that's called the substitution step. You plugged in the numbers you knew, and now it's time to simplify. Do the math that's implied by the formula. And so what's the math I need to do? I need to do 4.3 times 5.7. And be a um, wise student and make sure you do your substitution before you bust out your calculator. But now I bust out my calculator, and I just found out that that's equal to 24.51. And 24.51 what? Well, a couple of ways to know what unit I'm in. One thing is I found the area. You might know that area is always measured in square units. You should know that. I highly recommend you print off one of those GED formula sheets and you make that little note to yourself so that every time you use it as you practice, you remember that area is measured in square units. But another way to know, know this is I just, mem I just multiplied meters times meters. Just like when you uh, multiply 2 times 2, you can rewrite that as 2 squared. If you multiply meters times meters, you can rewrite that as meters squared. 
or square meters. And so that is 24.51 square meters. That is the area of this rectangle. Great. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.